Okay, so everybody has their prompt written down. So read through that and look for what information it's giving. Can somebody give me something? So we have 50 milliliters. What else do we have that's given? What's provided? 0.5. Yeah. So 50 milliliters, 0.5 molar. That's the concentration. And then what else is given there? 0 0.1. 0 0.1 molar. And so when you're looking at that problem, when you refer back to your background section, you have two equations. When you look at those two equations, which one do you think it would be? Calculating molarity or calculating uh, or, dil or a dilution? Dilution. Dilution. So what's your equation? V1. Yep. Say that one more time. V1, M1. V1, M1. M2, perfect. So that's our equation. And then what are we looking for? We're looking for V2. So you take this equation right here and you say, okay, this, this equation is not set up correctly. We need to rearrange it to solve for V2. So what do we do? to get V2 by itself. Divide by M2. So M2 over M2 cancels out. That leaves us with V2 is equal to V1 times M1 over M2. So we come in here and we just start plugging it in. So what is that 50? What does that 50 represent? V1. That's our original. V1 is our original volume. So V1 is going to be 50 milliliters. And then what's M1? Yep, yeah, 0.5 since this was our original molarity. So 0 0.5 molar, and then we're going to divide by M2, which is 0 0.1. Now look at our units. See we have moles over moles? Let's cancel them out. So what unit is left over here? Milliliters. Milliliters. So we know that when we're finished, it's going to be milliliters. We just need to plug it in. 50 times 0.5 divided by 0.1. That gives you 250 milliliters. 